So there I was, sitting down with my family and watching a movie. The dreaded load screen comes up on the TV, and it's because our internet is down. This is a common occurrence in our household, and we don't have cable because we don't want the kids to turn into couch potatoes. I pay $175 for 400 megabytes download speed and 20 megabytes upload speed. I do this because if I don't pay that much, the cable company consistently drops at an even higher rate than what they're dropping now. They consistently blame it on things like having too many devices on the network. They consistently come up with reasons that all include me purchasing a bigger package from them. They've already tried to sell me the one gig service three different times. Now you would think I could just move on to the other carrier and I would somehow get better service. However, when I've gone to Spectrum, it just is worse. Nothing seems to work in my house. Now I'm a fan of Elon Musk and I follow SpaceX and Tesla. So I've been following Starlink for quite some time now, and I've been waiting for them to come to my area. It's at this point that I look down at my phone and I see that I got an email. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Andrew and welcome to the Dad Manual. And this is my attempt as a dad and only a dad to talk about the reasons I'm cutting the cord completely and going with Starlink. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with Starlink or satellite internet, it's worth a quick explanation. Starlink is a program owned by SpaceX. That would be the company that uses the reusable rockets, you know, the one that Elon Musk runs. And their goal is to bring high-speed internet across the entire world. They're promising 20 to 40 milliseconds of latency, as well as 50 megabytes per second to 150 megabytes per second in actual speeds. And they're expecting these speeds sometime around the vicinity of mid-2021. Now, this is high-speed, low-latency broadband that's easy to set up, and it's ready for online gaming. And like I said, it's engineered by the same people who give you the reusable rockets. Now I signed up for this beta test some time ago and I got this email last night that the beta is now officially open in my service area. Now I already have the ability to have wired internet, but I would like to change to this for the future because the only way this is gonna grow is if more people use it. And if I have to be a beta tester in the beginning to allow them to work out some bugs so that way everybody around the world can be, you know what, I'm fine. I'm completely okay with that. So they gave me this email and this email tells me that it's now available in my area. Little did I know when I clicked on the link that I had only 15 minutes to make the decision of whether or not I was gonna purchase the box or not. Well, I ended up purchasing it and it cost me $588.81. Now this was a little bit of a problem because I was told I could use just a regular card, but it rejected two of my cards. And then I tried to use Apple Card Pay and it rejected that as well. It took me to the third time until I used my debit card till it finally accepted payment, but it did go through. What's interesting is you can see that by this order number that it's gonna be here in two to four weeks. Today is February the 9th, which means it's going to be here sometime around the area of the beginning of March. Now, if that's to be said, it's going to be snowing in northwest Ohio around that time. You can see outside here and with pictures up on my left side, you can see that, you know what, it's pretty snowy and my roof is pretty snowy. The other thing they have you do as soon as the order is complete is download the Starlink app. The reason they have you download this app is because they want you to put your phone directly where you're going to set the dish. They want to know if there's any obstructions in between the dish and where the satellite's at. So that way you can have whatever it is removed if you need trees trimmed or whatever. Now I'm going to have to wait a couple of days for the actual roof to melt so that way I'm not slipping and sliding on my roof as you can see in this picture here. But I do think I'll be able to be ready by the time mid-March comes. And I'm very excited, even though I'm going to have two internet services running for a while until they fix all the bugs in Starlink, I'm very excited because I can see the end of the tunnel where I'm actually going to be able to cut the cord. So in the future, as soon as it comes, you can expect more videos about the setup, how it runs, and exactly what I see. What I want to know, though, is how you feel about Starlink satellite internet. Are you as excited as I am to cut the cord? Tell me about it down in the comments below. And thanks for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, please leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the YouTube algorithm. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, I'm Andrew, this is the Dad Manual. And remember, failure isn't bad, failure to try and learn is. Have a good one.